everyone, Diane here. Hope everyone's well. Welcome to my studio today. Um, today we went out for a quick walk down the side of the field that we have here in France um, just to um, gather some grass for the sheep and uh, because we've had a drought for a couple of months and um, it's getting a bit desperate we're having to actually go outside and cut grass um, and I noticed that there was a lovely little um, poppy display there on the side of the road not on our side on the side of our neighbours over the other side of the road and I thought because I've been thinking what on earth am I going to paint today so that settled it I took a couple of photos so you can see and they're also actually on the community post on the channel if you want to go and um, have a look I just put a couple of them up um, so this is from my own photos this particular um, work of art <clears throat> And uh, I've done a quick sketch here. And sometimes when you do a really quick sketch and you don't try too hard, it actually works out reasonably successfully. And you think to yourself, oh, yeah, you know, that was that was an express expression of my emotions, wasn't it there and then? Um, oh, while I'm while I'm talking about this, what do you think of this? Does anybody fancy doing some of these birds? I've been working on little bluebirds uh, just as a kind of way to pass the evening because I refuse to watch television. Um, so that's perhaps going to be an up, whoops, sorry about that. That's perhaps going to be an upcoming project. Anyway, so I did this on a piece of sketch paper. This is quite thin and it's probably 90 pounds, if that. Don't know what it is. Um, in a minute, I'm going to have a go at inking it. Um, but now I'm going to actually do what I had intended to do, which is to do something like that on proper paper. And here I've got some proper paper. Um, Americans often refer to English people as being very proper. I don't know if you're aware of that, but whenever I've uh, had arguments with American people, it's because they insist on telling us, telling me that we are proper and they could not be further from the truth. Proper is not us. We are the most improper people that you could wish to meet. So now I'm going to try to reproduce this on here. This is a piece I shouldn't, shouldn't get distracted, should I? I shouldn't eat chocolate, should I? Um, makes you a little bit hyper, it seems. But then perhaps that's a good thing because you need energy to get over the day, don't you? This is um, Fabriano Artistico hot press paper. Hot press, not cold press. Um, a lady had a question the other day on Facebook about, she said, what does it mean if the, the paper is unfinished? And I'm like, what? Unfinished? And what she had read on the label was not finished. N-O-T, capitals. That just means the same as cold pressed. Don't ask me why. I know why, but it's just like life's too short. Anyway, so let's pick up some red. Let me move this a little bit and move the camera is probably easiest. I have my reds and yellows in my palette here. This, I think, probably what I'm going to pick up now is probably going to be cadmium red. And I'm just going to splash in the beginning of a poppy. And I'm going to put another one here and I don't care how it goes. And this bigger one is gonna be the one in the middle. And you have to decide at this point, are, we, are you going to do three or four or five? It's always best to have um, an uneven number. So three is better than four. But if we were to do more than um, uh more than three, we'd have to do five. So what we'll do instead is we'll do some seed heads and, and buds. So I'm going to switch to this green for the seed head. And of course that colour will do very nicely for the stems. And then we'll pick up a bit more red for a bud. A bud here as well. Maybe we'll have one here. And um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. yes, I need to draw this down because this is a stem. And then we're going to think about leaves. So 
paper, paper, paper. Paper, paper. A little bit more green, yellow, green. Um, yeah, this is a but I'll just so go up and over. And then we want some leaves. And I'm going to do them very sketchy because this is going to be inked over. And let's put a bit more red. This is more of an orangey tone, so we'll put that on top of that. I think that, yeah, that's a bit bluish and this is a bit orangey, so we'll put that on. And probably at the end I'll do some spatter. But um, this is where you can sort of <clears throat> allow your own um, emotions to be expressed. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, that. I'm not sure about that. Make that bit thinner. And then the ink will go in there. And I'm just going to lift in the centre the colour out so that... Did you know poppies have four petals? I was looking at some pictures of poppies on Pinterest, I think, and the fashion now seems to paint seems to be to paint poppies with about 12 petals. I might be exaggerating there a bit but they don't actually have 12 petals. Sometimes when you've done something like this, where you've got quite a lot of paint and you lift it out, you might get some really cool effects. And that one too, here. And this is partly because it's um, hot press paper, not cold press. So you get funky texture. Um, right, so I don't know whether that's dry yet, but it doesn't really matter if it isn't. So the next bit to do is to meander into my chair and to... Um, I've been doing a lot of work, I just want to mention something that I learnt yesterday. I've been doing a lot of work with white pens lately. This um, Uniball Signo, Signo Broad um, white pigment ink by Mitsubishi Pencil Company made in Japan. Um, and I was re reading up about them and it's apparently recommended that you keep them, store them lying down. So my little pots of pens like this are verboten. It has to lie down. So I'm told. So it will lie down. Um, now, while that's drying, I'm going to have a go on this one. Just put the camera back. This one that I did first and um, see how this goes. What I love about this method is that when you just slosh the paint in and then when it dries, suddenly you find you've got a lovely little edge there, which looks like a poppy petal and it just kind of all falls into place. You don't have to try too hard to um, construct your petals, your flowers. So yes, this has kind of a vertical thing going on and it's very geometric. So I'm going to do wiggly lines. Today my hand wants to wiggle. A little bit of contretemps this morning with a member of my significant other family. Not my daughter. And uh, so it's left my hands a little bit jelly-like. That's okay. It's quite good when it comes to painting.
So there's that. And the leaves are in, heavily indented, aren't they? And it's almost, unless you're one of those people that paints every hair on the, 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 the what do they say? The hair on the, the hair of the dog. Yeah, unless you're one of them, you are not going to be able to reproduce that. And why would you want to? Anyway, so I won't, I'm just going to draw some lines. I think I said before, when I, I think I'm a drawer rather than a painter, and certainly not a Hebridean baker. Um, I, I like the line. I've discovered this recently. I like line and uh, not lying, but line, line, yes. So it's it's quite uh, therapeutic. So all the stems, whether they're seed head stems or buds or flowers, they all have hairs. And you're going to get one petal at the front and then three others. Then here, we're going to have stamens and dots. Because in the center, you've got the beginning of this. So that's kind of green, but I'm not going to put green in there. Not today, not now. So we'll do that. And then you might want to think about putting a little bit more color. Somewhere at the back, perhaps. Like I said, this is dodgy paper. This is sketch paper on a good day. It's not even really, I don't know what it is, but it, it doesn't seem too bad. And this is slightly damp there, so the ink is going to have a bit of a problem getting in there, but it will give us a nice fuzzy effect. And then we can bring some lines down if we want to sort of reinforce that sort of uh, it's like crepe paper, isn't it? That's what it's like. You know, remember crepe paper? I used to love crepe paper when I was a kid. I used to envy people who could have crepe paper. used to watch Blue Peter and they were always making things and I used to envy people who could say to their mothers, Mum, I, I need some crepe paper. And Mum would go, oh, okay, we're going to get some crepe paper. But people didn't talk like that in those days, did they? They talk like that now, though, in England. They talk like that. Anyway, so, anyway, so, so we never had any crepe paper. No. Don't know why did I don't want crepe paper? Oh, to make Christmas decorations. Used to make those rings and then join them together to make crepe paper into garlands and things. Yeah. And so I didn't have any of that. So we used to use so we used to use just white paper and paint it. That was okay. These little uh, stems are much improved by bits of ink. I was deprived as a child. I was deprived of, of stationery. I used to, when I was at school, in grammar school, I used to go and lock myself. I used to go and hide in the stationery cupboard in the art room and just to enjoy the smell of paper and paint and um, new erasers and and big 
old paint brushes, well, new, actually, and there's cakes of paint. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, and my best Christmas present ever was one of those huge, seemed huge, wasn't really huge, tins of paints in, uh, oh, it was like massive. None of them worked, they were all dried out and didn't have much colour in them. But it looked good. You can get those on eBay people or Etsy probably, people selling them. Vintage. Makes me vintage. I remember them. So consequently, being as I was deprived as a child of art materials, of course, I have to have a massive collection of gubbins now. Yes. Oh, well, you know. I don't have 400 pairs of shoes. I've got 400 watercolour brushes. Ah, did I? Well, you can see what I'm doing. I am just literally embellishing my uh, genuinely messy painting. My genuinely messy watercolour. I am embellishing with genuinely erratic and bonkers lines and I heartily suggest that when you've had a row with someone not that any of you ever would of course that's my weakness that's my one weakness allowing myself to get sucked into verbally dodgy situations um Anyway, that's my problem, not yours. I do want you all to know, though, that I appreciate all of your comments. A lot of people have made absolutely unbelievably kind comments on the last video I put up because I had a little bit of trouble with, <laughs> with someone who... <laughs> you have to laugh, really. I mean... I don't know. I didn't realise there was a tax on um, and I didn't realise, I have to admit, that um, YouTube required that its uh, content makers had a, uh, what's the word, a degree in public speaking. Honestly. I am one of those people, when I first learned to be a teacher, I was absolutely terrified of standing up in front of the class and um, speaking to the children. And that, I've never, I've never overcome that. I couldn't do the um, kind of presentation that people like our dear friend Paul Clark does with his jokey um look at me and my t-shirt thing. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. That's not my style. Um, I can't remember what I was saying now, but I do think that, yeah, I do, I do sometimes lose track, but you know, why not? Does anyone really care whether or not I make a divergence in what I'm saying? I rather hope that by being a little bit random, you might um, be watching what I'm doing, learning a little bit from my painting efforts, such as they are, and uh, go away and, whoops, come on pen, don't do that to me, and uh, do something similar for yourself. Well, this is coming towards the end of its allotted span. Um, might want a little bit up here, perhaps. Perhaps I should just put a little bit more paint on there. It's tricky, isn't it? You know, you get to a certain point and you think, oh. A 
let that dry. I'm not going to touch anything else because I'm not completely out of love with it. It's okay and it's a nice experience. And yeah, that will do. Shall I put some spatter on? Shall I put a little bit? If I can find a long brush. A little bit because they do have the sort of seed heady type of things, don't they? Or should I should I instead of doing spatter? No, I'll do I'll do a little bit of black. Perhaps. To sort of represent. So I'm about to wind up here. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, don't forget membership and go on over to Patreon and have a look at what we've got on offer there because we've just started that. It's all a bit, what's the word, embryonic at the moment, but it's starting. We've got some members. So. There we are. One poppy painting. This one. I will finish later and uh, maybe that will be a giveaway when that's done for the prize next month on the Facebook group for members. So I'll let you go and I'll see you again soon, everybody. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for your patience. Hope I gave you the occasional giggle or at least a grating of teeth. So I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.